Now, welcome to another live video on square roots of a sword. Now, the question says, find the square root of 5 plus 2 root 6. Now, I'm going to solve using the normal method, then I'm going to use the calculator method to do it. Now, you'll firstly see the square root of 5 plus 2 root 6 will be equal to root A plus root B. Now, it is plus because the sign in the question given to us is plus. As we you have minus here, you are going to have the sign here to be minus. Now, take note that the question is square roots of this sort now. Now, the next process is that now you square both sides. If you square both sides, you are going to have this square root cancel this square here. We have it to be 5 plus 2 root 6, which is because you know this one is 2. So that means we have it to be root A plus root B. Then multiply by another root A plus what? Plus root B. Now, if you check this for very well, we have 5 plus 2 root 6. Then to be equal to, let's multiply this. Root A times root A here, the answer is A. Root A times B here, the answer is root AB. Then root B times root A here, the answer is root AB. Then root B times root B here, the answer is what? B. Then we check this very well. Then we can now have this to be equal to. Now check it. We can have it to be 5 plus 2 root 6 to be equal to. Now, don't forget that we have A here, then plus. Don't forget we have what? B plus root AB plus root AB. The answer will be 2 root AB. Root AB plus root AB. The answer will be 2 root AB. Now, if you have it to be 2 root AB, then let us see. The next one is that you are going to equate sort to sort. And you are going to equate non sort to non sort. Non sort to non sort. Now, how do you do it? Now, you check the, the sort to sort. Sort means the one that has square root. And non sort to non sort means those ones that do not have all square root. Now, this one does not have square root. Let's equate it to those that do not have square root. So, left side equals what? Right side. We have 5 to be equals what? A plus B. This one is equation 1. Now, for those ones that have the square root, we have 2 root 6. Then, to be equals to the right side, which is 2 root AB. This one is what? Equation 2. Now, if not check this from equation 1, from equation 1, then we have it to be 5 to be equals to A plus B. Then let us take A to this side. If you take A to this side, that means we have 5 minus A, which is equal to what? B. And that shows that B is equal to 5 minus A. Now, everybody take note. Now, if B is equal to 5 minus A, then let us go to equation 2. So, from equation 2, from equation 2, we have 2 root 6 to be equal to 2 root AB. Then let us cancel. We have... 2 cancel 2, we have roots cancel to roots. Then the remaining is 6 is equal to AB. Then 6 will now be, let us substitute the value for B. So 6 is equal to A into bracket. What's our B we got here? And that's equal to 5 minus A. Then let's also put the bracket. 6 is equal to A times 5, that's what? 5A. Then A times minus A, that's minus A squared. Then this is quadratic equation. So now turn to this quadratic equation, take minus A squared to this side it will become plus a squared. If you take minus a squared here to the other side, it becomes what? Plus a squared. Let us take minus 5a to this side. It becomes what? 5 minus... If you take this plus 5a to the other side there, it becomes what? Minus 5a. Then don't forget that we have 6 here already. Everything here, there is nothing here, which is equal to what? 0. Then now observe that this is quadratic equation. Now since this turns to quadratic equation, then let us solve quadratic Equation in our, on our calculator. Press your what? Your mode. When you press your mode, you go to equation. That's number five. And let's go to number three, which is quadratic. And let us press. the You first press the coefficient of a square, which is one. So we are going to press one. Then press the equals two. Then the coefficient of the next one here is what? Minus five. So now press minus five. Then press the equals two. Then the next one here, we have the value here to be what? Six. So press six and press the equals two. So you only deal with values if you are dealing with called quad quadratic equation. The press equals to you observe that the value there a is equal to what three or press equals to the next one you have a to be equal to what two according to the calculator. So a is equal to three or a is equal to what two. So as far as we've gotten a to be three or two, then go back to the question square root of five plus root six 
is equal to root of A plus what? Plus root of B. Don't forget this is where we started from. Then finally, your root of 5 plus 2 root 6 is equal to what's the first number? We have 3. Then plus root of the second number, which is what? 2. This is the final answer. But you may not pass through all this process before you arrive to the final answer. As me, I'm giving this question in the CBT, I will definitely see that, okay, when I'm giving this question, I will check, okay, provided there's two outside here, there's two outside at the what? At the, at the front of the values under the square root. I will not think of two numbers that when I add, it's going to give me five here. And when I multiply those two numbers, it's going to give me six. And don't forget that the, five, the, the two numbers that we can add, that can give us five, and when you multiply, give us six, is what? Three and two. And that's why the answer is square root of three and square root of what? Two. Can you see that the shortcut is as simple as that? So with the shortcut I applied here, then if you are asked to find square root of, find the square root of, let's say, you have seven plus two roots, two roots, let me say, uh, 10, two roots 10. Then don't forget that if, I, if you think of this question very well, think of two numbers that when you add, it's going to give you seven, and when you multiply, it's going to give you 10. And that's, if you say five plus two, that's equal to seven, and five times two is going to give you what, 10. That means the final answer to this will be root of five, Plus what? Plus root of what? Of two. That is the final answer. So because we think of two numbers that when we add, it's going to give us seven. And when you multiply, it's going to give us what? Ten. Provided there's two outside. Don't forget the law. Provided there's what? There's two outside. So you can use this shortcut whenever you are given the word the CBT question without passing through the stress of this. Then let, let me add this at the comment section. Then find the square root of, let me say, you have... You have 7 minus, let's say, 2 root 12. Find the square root of 7 minus 2 root 12. Find the square root of 7 minus 2 root 12. Don't forget that I told you that if the minus, if the sign is minus, then the sign that will be in between will now be what? Minus. The sign that will be in between will be what? Will be minus. Let me even solve this. The final answer to this will be square root of, don't forget that, the two numbers that when we add is going to give us 7, and when multiply is going to give us 12, is 4 and 3. So the final answer will now be root 4. Then what's the sign in between minus root 2 or root 3? So the answer is root 4 minus root 3. The reason why it is minus is because the sign between is what is minus. But whenever you are solving for minus, always put plus or minus at the front. Always put plus or minus. But if it is plus, you don't need to put plus or minus because root 2 can come first. And root 5 can also what? Come first. Anyhow. Then, oh yeah, at the comment section, help me to do the square root of, let me say, you have, you have 6. Let's say you have 6 minus 6 minus 2 roots. 6 minus 2 roots 8. 6 minus 2 roots 8. Let me have the answer at the comment section. Find the square root of 6 minus 2 root 8. Thank you very much. God bless you. I mean, Ishola David Blessing, popularly known as Jen David. Let us have you like, comment, and subscribe. Even share for your colleagues to also use the shortcut for their exams. Thank you very much. So let me have the answer of this at the comment section. God bless you.